When I did that video about traditional folding knives, there were a few reasons I didn't include a Swiss Army knife or a Victorinox, other than just to make people mad, although that was a consideration. The main reason is that Victorinox doesn't make many knives with blades over 3 inches that aren't multi-tools, and even then no one buys them. But basically you have the Sentinel, which is kind of a, a larger blade, and maybe the Alpiner, 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 as long as you can tolerate the wine screwer. And best I can tell is the Swiss Army Solo or the Swiss Army One, the blade is about 2 and 5 eighths of an inch long, so that doesn't fit either. I've bought half a dozen Swiss Army knives last year and plans to do a review of some of their classic multi-tools, but for whatever reason haven't gotten around to it. Until now, when subscriber Skookum Danger donated to the channel the 84mm or 3 and a quarter inch Alox Cadet in red, the perfect knife for fancy suit wearing bros. Not to be confused with the 2008 limited edition berry red version for $16 more. Ain't nobody got the money for that. And as best as I can tell, the scales are just nicer. Especially when you don't have money for a haircut or razor. So let's take a look at the dimensions of my sack. Like the overall length and weight with the main blade open. Now note that Swiss Army knives are often described in millimeters in reference to their closed length. And while we're at it, why don't we look at the closed length? Yeah, how about that and the tallness of it? This would of course be Victorinox's 84mm size knife. Spine thickness, handle thickness. This is a pretty slim knife because of the aluminum or Alox scales as Victorinox calls them. And finally the length of the tools. No blue lines, sorry. Before I was a pocket knife guy, I was a multi-tool guy. But I always stuck with Leatherman's because of the heavy duty pliers. It's something I need for work. And I don't need to carry a tool set around. But for people who don't need heavy duty pliers, but may want to file their nails or open a wine bottle or a can of something, or, you know, pluck things, a Swiss Army knife is a great multi tool. They're light, easy to fit in the pocket, and acceptable in most social situations, and don't carry the nerd vibe of a Leatherman. Victorinox, who makes Swiss Army knives, uses a stainless steel called 1.4110 in a lot of its knives, which some internet knife people say is close to 440A stainless steel. You can look up the steel, look up the composition of the steel, and determine that for yourself, though. The blade is denoted by a thin blade stock, and if my shitty calipers aren't lying about it, it's .38 behind the edge. Behind the edge is a term that refers to how thick the blade is just before the sharpened part, right here. This means the knife is easy to sharpen when it gets dull. Dull, like an explanation of what behind the edge means. The two inch cutting edge was sharp out of the box. The blade of course isn't a locking blade because it's a slip joint mechanism. On slip joints with a decent amount of tension like this one, make sure you carefully ease the blade closed to avoid dinging it up on the liners unnecessarily. Okay, here it is open. You'll see that there are a total of four tools, some with more than one function. Woo! The main one was the blade. I could go over that again if you'd like. No? No, you really don't have no, to. Good. No, we're good. No, thanks, nah. man. No. no, that's fine. No! Okay, how about the second tool, the nail file. As a suit wearing bro, you might need to make sure your fingernails are dirt free and don't have snags. Use the tip for cleaning and the file part for the personal manicure. The best place to do this is the lunchroom cafeteria at work. Next you have the can opener that allows you to do exactly what it says. Open steel cans of things, as this handy demonstration demonstrates. On the tip of that is a tiny flathead screwdriver that also might work in some Phillips head screws as well. So that's like three tools, right? And finally, the fourth tool, the beer opener. It doesn't work on soda bottles, sorry. Then there's, of course, the uh, wire bender part of this tool. I'm sure there's a good reason why a non-technician person who only carries a Swiss Army knife would need to bend and cut a wire, right? And then, of course, the thicker tip, which is a bigger flathead screwdriver. 
Do people still drink screwdrivers? I think that was like a 1980s thing. All right, let's wrap it up. The Cadet is a good lightweight multi-tool for a person who's moved on from corked wine to the stuff that comes in a box. I prefer a lighter multi-tool. You may not. Swiss Army knives are some of the lightest multi-function tools you can carry that assist you in eating or drinking or cleaning your fingers like a primate around other people. The thin aluminum handle scales make it easy to slide in the pocket. If you need a larger Swiss Army knife with scissors and a Phillips head and tweezers and a toothpick that allow you to do other gross grooming things or screw things better, look at the Super Tinker, which is around the same price but with smooth plastic scales and a thicker pocket carry. It's about the same length though. Generally the Swiss Army knives that have the aluminum sided handles don't come with the tweezers and toothpicks integrated in the handle. But on the other hand the aluminum is durable, gives a nice worn look over time, and is much thinner. If you use a knife a lot maybe look into a dedicated pocket knife with a large comfortable handle and a large blade like say a Spyderco Endura 4 or a Bird Kara Kara 2 from Spyderco if you don't want to spend 70 bucks and only have 20. Those are some basic recommendations. Look at my channel, look around for other knives, or you could ask me, but those are the two that I would probably give you. And if you like outdoor gear reviews, beer reviews, and sometimes other things, and more, subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter and the Instagrams, although if you had to pick one, I'd pick just Instagram, or maybe you don't do social media. I don't care. But on that like button. That means click the thumbs up, leave a comment, Thanks for watching.